Hello dear friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Chemistry Aspirant. Now in today's lecture, we are going to learn about the experimental evidences for Werner's coordination theory or it is also known as an applications of Werner's theory. So in the previous lecture, we have learned about the postulates or the silent features of the Werner's coordination theory. The link of that video is given in the card. Kindly watch that video before watching this video. Whenever any theory or the postulates are written, it is always supported by the experimental data. So these are actually the experimental evidences. In today's lecture, we are going to know about which are the experimental evidences that is supported for the Werner's coordination theory. So in today's lecture, we are going to learn about the three important experimental evidences which supports the Werner's coordination theory. And these are the first one is the precipitation data with a silver nitride solution. The second one is the conductance measurement of the complex solution. And the third one is a cryoscopic measurement for the complex solution one. So this video will be the lengthy video. I request you to kindly watch this video till the end. Let us consider the first that is the precipitation data. When the various cobalt amine chloride complexes are treated with the aqueous solution of the silver nitrate. The chloride ions from these complexes undergoes the precipitation process and it forms the precipitate of the silver chloride. As the number of precipitation of the chloride ions increases, the number of moles of precipitation of the silver chloride will also increases. It means we know that in the coordination theory, we already learned that the primary valencies are ionizable valencies, while secondary valency is a non ionizable valency. By the precipitation data, we can easily find out the primary and the secondary valency for these complexes compounds. One now we are going to consider the four different cobalt amine chloride complexes and we will find out how the Werners have find out the formula for the complex compound on the basis of the primary and the secondary valency for the complex compound. So now let us consider the first complex as an COCl36NH3. So here when this complex is treated with the silver nitrate solution, it gives the 3 moles or the 3 molecules of the silver chloride as a white precipitate and hence the Werners have concluded that the three valencies in this complex compound is satisfied by the primary valencies while the six ammonia molecule satisfied the six secondary valencies. Hence he formulated this complex compound as an CO NH3 six time inside the coordination sphere and the 3 Cl outside the coordination sphere that is the ionization sphere. So this is the complex compound he have formulated on the basis of this precipitation data. Let us consider the second complex that is CO Cl3 5NH3 complex. So here this CO Cl3 5NH3 complex when treated with the aqueous solution of silver nitrate, it gives the 2 moles of silver chloride or the 2 molecules of the silver chloride as an white precipitate and on the basis of this experimental data, Werners have concluded that the 2 valencies are satisfied by the 2 chloride ion and these valencies are actually the primary valency while remaining 1 chloride ion and the 5 ammonia molecule satisfied the secondary valencies. Hence, he formulated this coordination compound as an COCl 5NH3 outside the coordination sphere Cl2. So then, now the third complex that is COCl3 4NH3. When this complex is treated with the aqueous solution of the silver nitrate, we obtain the 1 mole of the silver chloride or 1 molecule of the silver chloride. Hence, the Werners have concluded that 
the two chloride ions satisfy primary as well as the secondary valency along with the four ammonia molecule while only one chloride ion satisfy its primary valency hence he formulated this complex compound as an co cl2 nh3 four times inside this square bracket that is your ionization sphere and cl outside this coordination sphere that is your ionization sphere so this is the complex which will obtain by the formulation of the precipitation data now the last complex that is co cl3 3 nh3 so here when this complex is treated with the aqueous solution of the silver nitrate no precipitate is obtained here hence werners have concluded that all the three chloride ions and all the three ammonia molecule satisfy its secondary valency he formulated this complex as an co cl3 nh3 three times inside the coordination sphere so these are the different experimental evidences he provide on the basis of the precipitation data for the various cobalt amine chloride complexes so now let us discuss about the second experimental evidences that is the conductance measurement molar conductivity of a solution generally depends upon the two important factor and these are the number of charges in the solution and the second one is the number of ions in the solution so here a measurement of molar conductance of the coordination compounds gives the idea about the number of a ions in the solution for the coordination compounds here i have shown a one table in which i have mentioned the molar conductivity values in ohm inverse and its corresponding number of ions produced in the solution you can observe that if the molar conductivity value is 500 or above the 500 the number of ions produced in the solution will be the 5 if the molar conductivity value is range between the 400 to 500 then the number of ion produced in the solution will be the 4 if this value is range between 200 to 250 then the number of ion produced will be equals to 3 in the solution if the value range from 100 to 200 ohms inverse then the number of ions produced in the solution will be the one and if the value of the molar conductivity is zero then the number of ion produced will also equals to zero so i request you to kindly take the screenshot of this table so werners have able to find out the different molar conductivity values for the platinum ammonium chloride complexes which we are going to discuss in detail with the four different complexes here so let us discuss about the first complex that is pt cl4 6 nh3 complex the molar conductivity values for this complex is found to be 524 ohm inverse which indicates the presence of the four ions in this complex ion solution so here i have shown these ionization reactions in which you can observe that the total number of the chloride ions is equals to 4 and there is a one complex ion hence the total number of a ions in the solution will be 5 hence this complex can be formulated as an pt nh3 six time cl4 now let us consider the second complex that is pt cl4 5 nh3 here the molar conductivity values for this complex is found to be 404 ohm inverse and hence it indicates the presence of the four ions in the solution so here i have shown the ionization reactions for this complex ion here you can observe that the total number of the chloride ions will be equals to 3 and there is a one complex ion hence the 
total number of ions in the complex solution will be equals to 4. Hence, we can formulate this complex as an Pt Cl NH3 5 time Cl3. Now, the next complex that is Pt Cl4 4 NH3. So, the molar conductivity value for this complex is found to be 230 ohm inverse. Hence, it indicates the presence of 3 ions produced in the solution. So, here I have shown the ionization reactions. You can observe that the total number of the chloride ions will be equals to 2 and the one complex ion hence the total number of ions in this solution is equals to 3. Hence, we can formulate this complex compound as an Pt Cl2 NH3 4 times Cl2 outside the coordination sphere that is in inside the ionization sphere. Now, the last complex that is Pt Cl4 3 NH3. So, here the molar conductivity values for this complex ion is found to be 97 ohm inverse which indicates the presence of only two ions in the solution. So, here I have shown the ionization reactions for this complex ion. So, here you can observe that the total number of chloride ion is equals to 1. The total number of complex ion is again equals to 1. Hence, the total number of ions in the solution is equals to 2. And hence, he formulated this complex as an Pt Cl3 NH3 3 times outside the coordination sphere just a 1 Cl ion. So, here we have studied different 4 complexes for platinum ammonium chloride. So, here we observe that the values that we have obtained for the molar conductivity values are equivalent to the number of ions that is produced in the solution which already given by the literature one. Hence, Werner's have given second evidences on the basis of the conductivity measurement for these complex ions and he deduced the different structures for this complex compound on the basis of these molar conductivity values. So, that is our second evidences for your Werner's coordination theory. The third experimental evidence is that is the cryoscopic measurement. That the cryoscopic measurement is related to the lowering of the freezing point of the solution. That lowering of the freezing point of the solution is also called as an a depression in the freezing point of the solution. So, depression in the freezing point of the solution depends upon the number of particles that is the ions produced if the molecule is dissociate into its ions. Large number of ions produced after the dissociation of the molecule greater will be the depression in the freezing point of that solution. For example, if the molecule is dissociate into the two ions, the depression in the freezing point will be the twice, while if the molecule is dissociate into the three ions, then the depression in the freezing point will be the thrice and so on. The cryoscopic measurement for the various cobalt amine chloride complexes this table. The first complex that I have taken is a COCl36NH3 and the cryoscopic measurement values indicate that it contain the 4 particles that is the 4 ions which I have shown here 1 complex ion and the 3 chloride ion. Hence, the formula of this complex is a CO NH3 6 times Cl3 outside the coordination sphere. Then the next complex that I have considered is the CO Cl3 5 NH3. So, the cryoscopic measurement indicate that it contain the 3 particles and these 3 particles that means the 3 ions that I have shown here 1 complex ion and the 2 chloride ion and its formula is CO Cl 5 NH3 
inside the coordination sphere and two chlorine outside the coordination sphere then the next complex that we have considered is co cl3 4 nh3 the cryoscopic measurement indicate that the presence of the two particles here that is the two ions and which i have shown the one complex ion and the another is a one chloride ion so its formula is co cl2 nh3 four time outside the coordination sphere cl now the next complex that is co cl3 nh3 three times here the cryoscopic measurement says there is a zero particle hence its formula will be the co cl3 nh3 three times inside the coordination sphere so here i have shown the increasing order of the depression in the freezing points of these various cobalt amine chloride complexes so these are the three different experimental evidences which is provided in support of the werner's coordination theory thank you so much for watching this video see you in my next video